So, Ginger. Yeah? You know how we wanted to start a podcast, but we were having trouble coming up with a topic? Yeah. Okay, so here's my pitch. The topic of the podcast is us trying to come up with the topic for the podcast. What? Like we pitch each other podcast ideas and that's the podcast? Yeah, exactly. We could call it, What Should Our Podcast Be About? Miles, that's really stupid. Let's do it. What should this song be about? I'm trying to figure it out. What should this song be about? Could you perhaps help me out? I've had a moment of doubt. What should this song be about? Welcome to What Should Our Podcast Be About, the podcast where we try to figure out what this podcast that you're listening to right now should be about. I'm Miles Grover. I'm Ginger Brown. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I have an update. All right. And you're not going to like it, I don't think. Okay. But I have found out what the J stands for in Michigan J Frog. Oh, no. What is it? Jackson. Well, that's boring. No. Right. It can stand for whatever we want it to stand for. Well, canonically, that's what it stands for. I don't accept it. Yeah. The J stands for Jesus. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> for Jesus. <laughs> what would Michigan J Frog do? Yeah. WW, <laughs> WWMJF D. Yeah. Yeah. I know letters. People would probably think, what would Mother Jesus fucking do? <laughs> if you just saw that ac- yeah. acronym or Be whatever. Like, that, they didn't even get it right. Yeah. Hmm. Do you want to talk about podcast ideas, the thing that our podcast is about? No. Oh. Well. I want to talk more about Michigan J Frog. <laughs> so this podcast is about Michigan J Frog. We did talk about a Michigan J Frog fan cast, I think. What if the J is just a J? Like Oh, like like Harry F. Truman or whatever. Yeah, or like um yeah, because like S Truman? Harry S. Truman? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever like, it is. Like Johnny Cash is an name is actually jr cash right i don't know is it i believe so wait his name is jr it's not johnny yeah i mean am i remembering incorrectly i have no idea Let i me. didn't know anything about that what's the r stand for nothing nothing it's no, just jr that's cash. that was just common back then huh. okay. um let me just see if i'm correct so that i'm not lying about johnny cash john r cash what, born jr cash oh huh. interesting i guess I guess they started calling him John, but that's but on that's, his birth certificate it's J R Cash. That's pretty weird, I guess. I mean, it wasn't weird back then, I guess. Apparently, he he said that in his autobiography, which is very good actually. Even if you're not a Johnny Cash fan, book recommendation. He um, what's it called? It's called Cash: The Autobiography. That's pretty straightforward, I guess. Yeah, and it's but it, it it's not a straightforward book. I mean, like you got him like deciding to like run after an ostrich and ending up in the hospital, <laughs> like huh. taking a hammer to a hotel room like wall because he wanted to make the room bigger. So he wanted the rooms to connect. He was um, on a lot of drugs. He was I on guess. a lot of drugs. Yeah, he yeah. was on a lot of drugs. But uh, the ostrich story is it like it's worth reading for the ostrich story alone. Anyway, it's it's really well written, very fun book. Highly recommend. Maybe he was named after J.R.R. Tolkien. No. Tolkien? Tolkien? But they forgot one of the R's. <laughs> Maybe they wanted to do Junior in reverse. How's it in reverse? He's Junior Cash instead of Johnny Cash Jr. Wait, so his dad's name is Johnny Cash? No, his dad's name is Senior. <laughs> <laughs> His, his dad's name is S.R. Cash. His dad's name is, dad's name is S.R. Okay. Cash. That makes sense. Because <laughs> he knew he'd have a, have a boy someday. Right. And he didn't name him Sue. He's, it was really weird when he was a kid, though. <laughs> <laughs> when his dad was a kid. When his dad was right. a kid, right. yeah. Well, his his dad's name was was I.I.I. I.I.I. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was the third backwards? I don't know. <laughs> Thank God naming conventions changed, yeah, right? Yeah, that was all very normal back then. There's a lot of people with names like that, for sure. Um, do you have ideas, or do you want me to go first? I have a couple ideas. Okay. So the first one's very dumb, and it was just prompted by us playing board games Okay. over Christmas. Pointy versus round. Okay, so we played a game where you had to like classify things based on like cards that would give two opposites or whatever. And one was like pointy animals versus round animals. And we were trying to figure out what the what the roundest animal was. And what the, yeah. And we also talked about like how some animals fully break that system given that like 
puffer fish exist who are completely round and also completely pointy. You know, right? I was very sleep deprived when we were playing these games. And now that, it, and, and I know we spent a long time, well, you were also very sleep deprived. Yeah. But I know we spent some time trying to come up with an animal that was more round than a hamster. And now that I think about it, like armadillos are pretty round, right? Well, armadillos are round, but also not round when they're not round, yeah. right? And I guess they're kind of point. They're pretty pointy when they're not round, but not pointy like blowfish pointy or pufferfish or whatever. Pufferfish are blowfish pointy. Yeah, blowfish and pufferfish are very similar animals, as far as I recall. They're just two different kinds of fish that blow up and have spikes. Yeah, far, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, but what would what would the podcast be? Round versus pointy. We maybe the whole to... podcast is just trying to come up with the pointiest animal and the roundest animal. Or maybe maybe one episode is animals and it's other things too. Just generally round and pointy things. I mean, but a round thing is pretty easy. Ball, well, right? Well, it's but a ball. What if it's like what if it's like politics? Politics are pointy, right? Yeah. Right, I feel like you could classify. Okay. We could have a discussions about all kinds of things and see how they whether they're round or pointy. Okay, yeah. So we're basically just playing a more boring version of the game where we just have one category. Sort of, but I think it could be interesting. I think that could be an interesting like discussion topic of like, is you know, is um Christmas round or pointy? You know, is any any like abstract objects and stuff and animals Christmas and, has snowmen so it's clearly round yeah but it has holly those are pointy yeah leaves and also the suicide rate is very high around christmas oh wow I'm that got saying, depressing i'm fast. just saying there's there's <laughs> arguments to be made wow yeah uh, wah, wah. <laughs> uh it also uh, uh, reminds me of a linguistics experiment that was done and found to be pretty consistent across different languages Classify these two words into round and pointy. Which one is round and which one is pointy? Booba and kiki. Booba is round and kiki is pointy. Yes, exactly. And everybody thinks that across languages. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting, right? Well, it's like, got, one's got O's and one's got pointy K's. Yeah, but O's aren't round in every alphabet, right? Yeah, well, they're round in ours. They are, but they're but it doesn't matter what your alphabet is or if you don't have an alphabet, they're round sounding to us, right? And pointy sounding to us. Hmm. So that's interesting, I guess. So, mildly yeah. interesting. Yeah, mildly interesting, the podcast. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Round round versus pointy, that could be kind of fun. All right. What do you got? Um, well, my first idea is not one I necessarily want to do, and I think it's kind of boring, but I also think it's actually maybe a good idea for a podcast. All right. Which is, and I don't have a title for it, but it's about resolutions, right? It's New Year's, obviously, and okay. people make resolutions, and the idea is just like, on January 1st or whatever, the people on the podcast make resolutions. And then throughout the year, you track how you're doing on your resolutions. Okay. And then at the end of the year, you, I guess, talk about how it went and you start figuring out your next resolutions or whatever. I have had a tradition since about 2010. Okay. Uh, I have been in the habit of making realistic New Year's resolutions. Okay. Like resolutions that I could definitely definitely accomplished mm -hmm. like i'll fill more grape juice on the floor <laughs> i will i will knock over more lamps so is it like ones that you're likely to just do anyway or are you making sure that you do that um it's ones that i'm likely to do right anyway so it's it's just a fun little it's just a fun little thing i saw so i guess i would have to come up with actual resolutions which i'm right. kind of opposed to well they don't have to i saw a post on facebook or something recently that was like Somebody talking about making resolutions like fruit adventure, where they every time they see a new fruit for the year, they're going to eat it and then, you know, talk about it or whatever, or try oh, it or something, cute. you know, something like that. Yeah. Like you can make fun ones that are just whatever. Yeah. And like for a podcast, I, I would think, I mean, the podcast could go different ways, right? It could be like, you know, I'm going to lose 20 pounds, like a, like a boring kind of realist like thing that people do for resolutions right? right and then track it and see how you do and, and whatever or it could be you know trying to come up with really fun resolutions and seeing how those go through i mean i think that like, would be the way to go i'm gonna ride 20 roller coasters this year or something right oh wow I, that's not my real resolution i don't like res roller coasters but i'm just saying you could do stuff like that right would you would you try to do stuff that was like out of your comfort zone i mean that would make sense right yeah. and that would be entertaining for a podcast probably yeah you don't do well on roller coasters. No, I, I barf. 
Yeah. Not on the roller coaster, but usually so that afterwards. That would be an especially bad one for yeah, you. Yeah, it wouldn't be very fun. I'm, I'm for trying new things, but not new things that will make you vomit. Yeah. The thing with roller coasters is, like, it's really hit or miss. Like, when we were at Disney World, I did one roller coaster. I think it was Space Mountain, maybe. And Space Mountain was fine. But then I did another one that was very similar. Maybe the Garden Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy, of the Galaxy. One. And that one made me nauseous. That one had a lot more uh, effects. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting because I feel like I had a harder time on Space Mountain. Right, but I don't I don't know what it is about one or the other, or if it would if it's reproducible either. Right, like I could maybe go again, and they eat neither yeah. or both might make me nauseous. Like I don't know what it is, but a lot of times, especially if it's hot, which it usually is if you're at an amusement park, like yeah. I already get especially a little in nauseous. Florida. Yeah, I already get a little nauseous just from being overheated often. Yeah. So that doesn't help. Yeah. But I've, not, I've definitely full on barfed after roller coasters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, probably not that one, but you know, stuff like that. Like I'm going to do some fun thing in, more than you would normally do. Go skydiving. Like, yeah. Maybe I'll go skydiving. I've wanted to do that for quite a long time. Going skydiving once is a, That's a- is a pretty reasonable goal, but also not terribly trackable for a podcast like that, probably. No. Well, I mean, you could do multiple. Typically people do more than one resolution. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess so. that's true. So you could have a checklist and and talk about, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that could be fun. Yeah, I don't know. Brainstorm resolution ideas. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay, do you have another idea? I have one more. Okay. And we briefly talked about it the other day. And okay. it's the one I feel we very strongly we should go with. But maybe we plan out our previous idea of doing a shark movie podcast. Okay. Where we watch shark movies. And or, them. or animal movies. In, in yeah. groups, I guess. And I mean, I really want to watch the Meg too because I haven't watched that yet. And so, you know, I already have a movie picked out. I was thinking that for the bear one, we could we should watch Cocaine Bear. Well, we could do both. We could do yeah. a bear shark. We could do a shark bear. A man bear shark. <laughs> <laughs> a shark bear episode yeah. next week. Maybe. Where we review Cocaine Bear and Meg too and discuss which is better. And maybe see if we can get a hold of Big Shark. Yeah. And then we'd have to watch two bear movies and two shark movies, maybe. Yeah. I mean, that could be a long episode. Well, yeah, we could see I how I mean, it goes. we should get a hold of Big Shark if we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been apparently very it's, limited screen. Yeah, apparently it's out. We didn't know it was actually out, but it's not like available it's in very limited screenings and tommy Wiseau so does not like to stream things so who knows if we will be able to find it yeah by illicit means yeah i don't know if it's like out there and i haven't looked for it but okay so the idea is we would what would we do on this podcast though um well on the on this episode yeah on this episode we discuss what 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 kind of things what the format of it would be yeah okay yeah i, yeah, I mean i feel like I feel like, well, maybe we should just wait and see if we get into it. But I feel like watching the movies, it's going to be probably, there's going to be some things we want to talk about from the movie. And we don't necessarily have to have a specific, like, you know, segment for each thing or whatever, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And some movies we might just go, that was a whole, right? That was a whole lot of nothing Yeah. or whatever. So. Yeah. But I mean, um, I have some ideas if we decide to talk more about that one. Okay. I have a. I have a number more idea. I have a, several more ideas. A um, number? A number uh, that's more than zero. <laughs> um, a positive integer number of ideas. But some of them are just dumb little things I wrote down. So I'm just going to talk about those real quick and then maybe talk about a real idea. All right. Because you don't have any more ideas, right? Not currently. Currently. Okay. One is a podcast for NBs because I was looking at our Spotify statistics and 0% of our listeners are non-binary. Or at least identify that way to Spotify. So I thought, you know, we should get some good non-binary content in here to raise our non-binary. I wasn't aware Spotify <laughs> tracked that sort of thing. Yeah, it tells you the genders and it includes non-binary as, a, as a, an option, but we 0%. So I don't know where it's getting my gender from. I guess my Facebook is tied to it. So maybe it knows from my Facebook or whatever. Uh, or huh. maybe it's in your account somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's that's weird. I don't have any idea what a podcast for non-binary people would be. I feel like we're probably the wrong people to do that podcast. I don't know. I think we're both sort of non-binary adjacent. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty non-conforming in a lot of ways, I would say. And I also don't give a shit about gender. I don't, yeah. I don't really give a shit I about mean, being fair. male. I, I am male, I guess, but I don't care. Would you just talk about what gender means and about how, just argue about how it is a social construct? 
I guess. Yeah, I don't know. We did a podcast for ladies. Yeah. So this is a podcast for NBs, I guess. Okay. I, I don't know exactly what it would be. But right. um, I also wrote down the podcast that has a lot of legs. Because we're always talking about how much le- how many legs an idea has. <laughs> and this would just be about lots of legs. Maybe it's about... Um, centipedes? Centipedes, millipedes. What's the difference? One has a thousand legs. One has a hundred. That's not really true. But, you know... Anyway, it could be that. It could, we could talk about the... Um, I'm again thinking about how much I would hate to be an entomologist. Yeah, I don't care for I'm the leg county guy. Right. Uh, I mean, honestly, even bugs have a lot of legs. Like even insects have, or spiders, yeah. have too many legs. So we could be talking about them. We could talk about crabs, right? We could talk about all kinds of stuff with a lot of legs. We could talk about... Um, we could talk about that leg lamp from Christmas Story. Sure. That's true. We could just be talking about individual legs, but if we do it enough times, it's a lot of legs. We could talk about the um, the luggage from the Discworld books. You know what I'm talking about? Terry Pratchett. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Rince Wind's yeah, yeah, luggage yeah. has a lot yeah. of little legs on it. Yeah. Made of sapient pearwood or, well, I yeah. don't think the legs are, but whatever. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. Podcast that has a lot of legs. Well, I so this think idea that has legs. Has legs. Yeah. You can't deny that this I idea has legs. I can't deny that this idea has legs. I also was thinking about our Ask the Experts uh, podcast title for our stupid Ask the Experts thing where we aren't really experts and we just pretend to be. But what if it's a podcast where we pretend that we used to be named Bert? <laughs> <laughs> and we're, so we're the experts. Okay. And and we tell our experiences of being used to being named Bert. <laughs> That is maybe the dumbest idea you've ever had. Mm, is it dumber than the parts you skip idea? I mean, at least there's content there. Yeah. I don't know what content there is here. <laughs> okay. I have this one is um, kind of an interesting idea. I don't think it will really work. But so I was thinking about songs, right? Okay. And song lyrics and stuff. And like a lot of times a song is good when you like identify with the emotion that's in the song, right? Like. I also have gone through a breakup, so this breakup song is it resonates with me. Yeah. Right. So what this if, is the reason I love sad music. Right. Because you're sad. It's cathartic. I mean, yeah. Everyone's sad sometimes, yeah. right? And uh, so the idea is we come up with very targeted song ideas to target very specific emotions. Okay. Right. Like that we that no one's has sung about before. Okay. Right. Do you have an example? I, I, I mean, Schadenfreude is maybe an, an easy example, right? We've got that word for the feeling. Well, we took the word from German for the feeling of like joy you get when somebody else has a bad time or whatever. It's I not, mean, right? I mean, someone's written songs about that, right? Maybe, I mean, probably. But I I'm, mean, like, I, I mean, uh, that, that, I hope you die, right? When will you die? That they might be giant song. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of that kind of is. Yeah, that, yeah. that's true. So, uh, and being realistic, probably they might be giants have a lot of songs along these lines <laughs> that we would have to like check for. Yeah, um, because they just have a lot of weird songs, but and a lot of songs in general. It could be a fun part of the podcast to try and challenge each other. Do you, is there a song that exists that deals with this emotion? Well, right. I think that would be part of it. Right. We would yeah. have to come up with ideas, see if there's any songs we can find that are about them already, and if not, then we could talk about that. Only problem is, like, neither of us are songwriters or no. or poets. I mean, you've written even some music, but I a little. You wrote the song for this podcast. I did. It's a very simple song. I mean, uh, but it's yeah, better than I could have done. Maybe, but I'm certainly not. I mean, maybe all of our songs could have those four chords or whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I I don't know. Maybe, and I and you know I've written some poetry before. It's not like good or anything. So <laughs> I have also I written know. bad poetry. Yeah, I so, have also been a teenager. So I don't know if we could even come up with good lyrics or whatever. But I don't know. It feels like a funny idea. Maybe somebody else should do. Yeah. But I don't know. Could be fun to talk about though. I mean, I like talking about music, so. Yeah, yeah. And then I guess one more idea I had that I think could be fun is we've talked about like come on, coming up with band names before, but this instead we would review band names and we would talk about like, does the name fit the band? Is it a good name in general or a stupid name or whatever? Imagine Dragons. Right. Imagine Dragons. Honestly, it's a pretty stupid name for a band. I don't like the music. I don't either. particularly like them either, but yeah, like or like. Mar- so I guess it fits. I was thinking about Maroon Five because I did that stupid boobs like Jagger thing a couple weeks ago or whatever. Yeah. Like 
Maroon 5 is a very dumb, bad name for a band. I don't know if there's five of them in it or not or whatever, but like Maroon? You're maroon? In what way? <laughs> maroon, one of the most boring colors. Oh, yeah, colors. they started out it's wearing like, maroon tuxedos. It's like kind of brown, kind of red. Maroon. Uh, Who likes maroon? No one. Right? It doesn't have a good sound. Our door sound. is maroon. We desperately want to paint it. It kind of is, yeah. It's, I mean, it's it, ugly. It's not a good color. I mean, our... our it was that color when we moved in. Our, we had we had no... Our door is more red than it. maroon. I would say it's, it's, it's not a good color, but it's still better than maroon, yeah. right? Like legit maroon. Yeah. Because maroon is like brown red, right? Or kind yeah. of brown red purplish maybe. But yeah. like either way, it's not a good color. It's not a good sound. It doesn't have a good name. Anyway, Mar- maroon maroon fans don't add us. Not a very good not a very good name. Dinosaur Jr. on the other hand. I don't especially like their music, but it's a great name for a band. Yeah. Dinosaur Jr. It's like a dinosaur, but his son. <laughs> like Johnny Cash, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but you know, dinosaur. J.R. Dinosaur. J.R. Dinosaur. Um Tune Yards. Do you know that it's band? A, yeah, that's a pretty good name. It's an interesting name. It's spelled stupidly because they capitalize every other letter, I think, or something like that. The capitalization on the letters is really dumb. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And it's like, I remember when I first started listening to them, I was like, I kind of hope I don't end up liking this because this name is, I don't like the way it's. Also, what is Tune Yards? It's kind of nonsense of a sound. It's an okay name. At least it's like unique and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, I like Yardbirds. Yardbirds. Yeah. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. So there are obviously tons of band names. We could easily have tons of content. Yeah, this is fun. I like this. Um, right? Like they might be giants. To I mean, excellent. A great obviously. name. We could ta- also talk about where the name comes from, right? That comes from, uh, I believe it was a movie in the 50s, which was based on the idea from Don Quixote, right? Where maybe you haven't read Don Quixote, but I have not. you may re- recall that he tilts at windmills right he tries to attack the windmills thinking they're giants that's a famous oh, thing yeah, from the yeah. book yeah, yeah right? I, I know i know of it right everybody kind of knows about that little part of it anyway nobody knows about the part where sancho panza is lying on the floor shitting and barfing everything out at the same time which is awesome it's a good book i've read it a couple times actually it's quite long and weird the second part of the book uh came out later then the first part, right? It was like a sequel, but it's kind of at this point, it's just one part. But somebody else had written an unauthorized sequel in between them. <laughs> and so Don Quixote goes around going like, no, the stuff in that sequel isn't real. I This is the stuff I did. Like, it's kind of weirdly metatextual, huh. even for like one of the first novels ever. Hmm. Um, but anyway, leaving Don Quixote aside, but we could talk about like where it comes from, right? Where the name comes from, if, if there's a explanation out there and stuff like that. Wait, so does that come from... They Might Be Giants, I believe, comes from the 50s movie or whenever that was. And that movie's title is a reference to the Don Quixote thing, Okay, I believe. So, so it was a, that was just a Don Quixote tan- tangent. Tangent about Don Quixote. Okay. The name doesn't have anything to do with Sancho Panza shitting and barfing. but <laughs> I was trying to make the connection. Yeah, but uh, that's just a fun part of that book. But uh, yeah, so I think that could be pretty fun. Yeah, I, yeah, I like that one. I had one more stupid idea, which was a podcast where we pretend it's always some holiday and we're sorry that we didn't, that we don't have time to really do a real episode, but happy whatever holiday it is. I don't know. That's not anything. Not really anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is that So you just want to get out of recording is what you're telling me? <laughs> no, no, no. We would still record an episode, but it would be like bad. We didn't have any time. To, oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. So you want to make a bad podcast. Yeah, it would just be a bad. Some people might argue we're already doing yeah, that. Yeah, we might be already doing that. But it would be more specifically focused on a way that it's bad. I don't know. Okay. That's Anyway, that's, the, that's my ideas. I think my ideas are stated now. So we should talk about what we want to keep talking about. Okay. Well, I kind of want to keep talking about sharks, but I, I do. I am also interested in the band name one. I mean, could we talk about both of those ideas? It's our podcast. We could do whatever we want, right? It is our podcast. Nobody can stop us except by not listening. Yeah. And they're already they're doing, already doing that. that. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm down to do the bear shark thing, or at least we could watch one or two of them and see how it goes and then either watch more shark or watch more bear and maybe only do one of them or whatever we end up feeling like doing is fine with me but uh, so uh, but i do think that it might be somewhat limited in terms of how much there's to talk about right now yeah well but we can why don't we yeah let's so do i was thinking I, I feel like it helps when you're watching a movie to like have certain things in mind because otherwise afterwards sometimes it just be like well i really enjoyed that 
and then don't have any notes. And then if you're me, someone asks you what happened in that movie and you can't remember a single thing. Yeah. And if you're me, you do that as well. Yeah. So I thought we could talk about kind of some things that we could jot down or just keep in mind while we're watching the movie. Like, okay. Well, <laughs> Slats Bentley made me think it's like I was thinking about Slats Bentley. So um, I'm always thinking about Slats Bentley. <laughs> so, uh, you know, best character name could be what something that we talk about. OK. What was the what was the best or the worst character name or just the best or worst character? OK. What was your favorite moment? OK. So a pretty basic kind of movie stuff. I wonder yeah. I wonder if there's like some kind of rating of like how shark was this shark movie. Yeah. Right. If there was only like a shark in it for a few minutes and it was kind of not really that shark based, we, yeah. we got scammed. Dude, you would know? you go, could we, sh- could we rate it um for on from like crappy, like what's a c- really crappy shark? Okay, right. To like Bruce. Who's, what's Bruce? Bruce from Finding Nemo. Oh, I don't remember Bruce from Finding oh, Nemo. Well, he's excellent. Oh, okay. He's a good shark. He's a good shark. I was thinking maybe it could just be like. I, I mean, he's not a good shark, but he's a, he's he's a, a good, good character. Shark. He's a good character. I... One, I was well. I don't know of any like really lame shark characters, so I wonder if maybe it would be easier to just do like some small shark, like a little sand shark, up to a great white or something, or a megalodon. You're a lame shark, baby shark. <sighs> I guess, yeah. Baby I guess. sharks, baby kind shark. of lame, right? So baby. Sorry, shark. Svetlana. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she doesn't think it's lame. She just likes to get it stuck in other people's heads. She just likes song. to annoy us. Yeah, it is her job. Yep, she's a kid. Yeah, so baby shark. I, is Bruce the best shark or I mean, Jaws is a pretty good shark. I feel Jaws like Jaws is, pretty... is like the iconic big yeah, shark. But a little maybe overplayed. Yeah, maybe. I mean, the shark from Deep Blue Sea. But does that have a oh, name? Oh, I know what the worst shark is. What? The worst shark is LL Cool J with his shark hat. <laughs> <laughs> My hat is like a shark fin. That's the worst shark. LL Cool J in the in that. I think that might be better than Baby Shark, actually, yeah. still. Okay, well, that could be like a two or a three. Maybe, yeah. We should come up with a shark scale. We would scale. come up with a shark scale, either based on how good of a character shark uh, the shark is, or maybe based on size or something. Yeah, do we want to come up with the shark scale right now, or should we do that in the interim? What's a, I mean... Are I we going to have... do one through ten? <laughs> I don't know how granular it needs to be, right? Because stuff could either be, like... I mean, we've already got a few. We might as well. Yeah, but like, is there more than very good, very bad, and somewhere in the middle? Do we really need like a, it was like a six out of 10. All right. Well, is that really you, different? Shark, than, five sharks? Maybe. Maybe. So Five is at least, we don't need more than five. So I'd we got say. baby shark. That's a one. We've got hat is like a shark's fin. That's a two. I guess. I just, should I just put LL Cool J? We'll, we'll I, know. I guess. We'll know what that means. LL Cool Shark. LL Cool Shark. Is a two. LL Shark J? JR Shark. <laughs> Shark Jr. would be a pretty good band name. <laughs> okay, what's a three? Jaws? Jaws three? So Jaws could be like the base standard three. Like right, yeah. like it's not it's not amazing, but it's the baseline qual- of quality, maybe, or something like that. Yeah. All right. So then is four the shark from Deep Blue Sea? I don't think that that shark... I, I don't, is that shark cooler than Jaws or less cool than Jaws? I don't Jaws. feel like that shark is especially cool. It's not rendered very well. It doesn't... I mean, it does eat Samuel L. Jackson. It eats but, Samuel L. Jackson. But that does that make something cool? In I like mean, a cool if, moment. In the, in the it way, was like... It killed people in cool ways. In the, in it the had sense, pizzazz. In the sense that you are what you eat, I guess that shark is cool. <laughs> I don't remember. Does it eat LL Cool J? I can't remember. He he escapes. He Does lives. He? Yeah. Isn't he the only one that makes it? Does the girl die? I think the girl might live, but I can't. It doesn't matter. Uh, I don't think I I don't find that shark itself to be terribly memorable. Like the movie is memorable for what the shark did in it, but the shark itself, I don't feel like is super memorable. So maybe that's a three, and maybe Jaws is a four. Maybe Jaws. I feel like Jaws being a four is fair. I, does the shark in that movie have a name or something? Because I don't feel like we should just say Deep Blue Sea Shark. Um, Let me find out. Oh, there's a Deep Blue Sea 2 and a Deep Blue Sea 3, what? apparently. All right. Well, we probably should. They're yeah. probably very bad. They're probably very bad. I mean, the bad. first one's pretty bad. Yeah. For anybody that hasn't seen Deep Blue Sea, the premise of the movie is that they are harvesting brain tissue from DNA altered sharks to try and cure Alzheimer's. 
Oh, was it not? Wasn't it cancer? No, it's it Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Yeah, because her mom has Alzheimer's. Right. Sharks are supposedly can't get cancer or something, right? I feel like that's a... I don't feel like that's actually really true, but like it's a myth about sharks, maybe. Yeah, I don't think I've heard that, but... Oh, apparently <laughs> Deep Blue Sea 3 was released in 2020. Okay, interesting. The thing about Deep Blue Sea is it was very clearly trying to be like Jurassic Park. Yeah. Like it had a lot of things that were very Jurassic Park about it, except that it sucked. Yeah. And Jurassic Park was pretty good, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's terrible. That's, but it's terrible in a really fun way. Right. So I know Jackson was in, in Jurassic Park as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's always getting eaten, isn't he? Yeah. He did get eaten by the yeah, raptors. Yeah. He got eaten I think. by the raptors. Yeah. Maybe that maybe he has that in his contract. <laughs> maybe. Add it with these motherfucking raptors in this motherfucking <laughs> park. Um, so I don't see that 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 shark had a name. So maybe we come up with something else for three. Bruce is five, right? I, if you say so. I don't remember that shark well enough to say, I guess. Well, I'm sad for you. Okay. That, that was from Finding Nemo? Yeah. I I'll put actually, a picture. I never actually liked Finding Nemo oh. that much. I guess that, I, have, I, I don't think I've actually seen it since I saw it in the theater when it came out. Hmm. That's fine. With I me. don't know why I've seen it so many times. I guess I babysat a lot. Yeah. I nannied yeah. for a while. Yeah, I don't know. I've seen it quite a few times. Right. I don't feel like we need to necessarily come up with every shark on the shark scale. We, right we now. only need one more. But I can't. I don't know. What is, what's what's the middle of the road shark? <laughs> shark from Little Mermaid? I don't know. Is there a shark in Little Mermaid? Yeah, it chases her and flounder around when they're in oh. the boat or whatever. The boat that Eric was in that sank, I think, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's a different boat. All right. Know. Well, maybe we'll, we'll come back to number three. Yeah. Or, I don't know, some kind of... How about... Oh, how about... What are they called? The... the Those anthropomorphic sharks. Skate sharks? Or no, shark... I don't know what you're talking no, about. there's like a cartoon in the 90s where they were like sharks that like were anthropomorphic. God, what are they called? It's something fun. God damn it. I don't, it I don't know about this, I don't think. Street sharks. Street sharks. Yeah, street sharks. Street sharks. Yep. Wow, that is really something. <laughs> yep, street sharks. Because like was... sharks' whole thing is that they're in water. Right. These are these are cool city skating sharks. I think. I feel like they might be on rollerblades, but I can't remember because <laughs> everything was on rollerblades in the nineties. What if the middle of the road is just a shark vacuum? <laughs> I feel like a shark vacuum has very little shark to it. <laughs> It's shark. It's got the name shark and a little. I think okay, the logo so has a little. Maybe, maybe that's number one. <laughs> and we bump everything else up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's not, that's pretty good. It's just got the shark name, but no actual sharkness to it. Yeah. And then baby shark at least has a shark, I guess. Is a two. And then LL Cool J, not a shark, but I guess close enough. And in the music number video, one is a shark vacuum. In the music video for that song, he does morph into a shark, I believe. Yeah, and he's got those crazy. And he's like, got the like black eyes. Yeah, yeah, he does turn into a shark at the end. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't watched, if you have, if you don't want to sit through all of Deep Blue Sea, you should at least look up. My hat is like a shark fan. I believe it's called Dark Deepest Bluest. Yeah. My hat is like a shark spin. Or, yeah. If you search for it's that, deepest, it's, bluest, parentheses. My, my hat, hat is, is like, like a shark, shark spin. Yeah. And deepest, it's a, bluest. My hat is like a shark spin. It's That's a, how the song goes. It's That's... a gift to the world, honestly. <laughs> yeah. uh, it started playing on the credits, and I was like, do you think there's a music video yeah. for this? And that day was like Christmas. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what about bears? Do we need a bear scale as well? Let me change my list from just sharks to sharks slash bears. Right. Okay. Okay, so bears. What's what's the lamest bear? Hmm. What's the best bear? There. What's the cereal? But is it like it's not honey smacks, but it's like honey something bear. Oh, I think I know what you're talking uh, about. There's like a a cereal I do not like. It's at like all. golden something, right? Oh, is it golden grams have a bear? Golden crisp. Golden crisp. Which one? Which cereal? Well, there's also sugar crisp. They're both pretty lame. Yeah. I feel like those are either the same or one's a knockoff of the other one. Yeah. Okay. So, well, Golden Crisp is what comes up. The yeah. Most. Golden, Crisp Golden Crisp is a pretty lame bear. Golden Crisp is the worst bear. What about, where's the, where does, I, I guess there are a lot more bear characters to talk about than sharks that I could think. Cause I mean, like, yeah, where's Smokey the Bear Land? Right. Cause there's Smokey the Bear, there's Fozzie Bear, there's Yogi Bear, and oh, Boo Fozzie Bear's got to be kind of high. I mean, is he on the list? I mean, I not like on drugs. <laughs> 
You never know. <laughs> I like Muppets. I feel like Fozzie is not actually f- your he's favorite. He's not funny. Yeah. And he's not very interesting in general. Yeah. He's more like, you need to have a bear in here. So here's what our bear is, I feel like. Okay. Maybe that's a hot take about Fozzie Bear, but. Yeah. Sorry like to all Gonzo, the Fozzie heads like, out like there. Like Gonzo, he's a good character. Kermit, whatever, right? Those are, there's certainly Muppets that are iconic and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I don't have like a strong affinity for Fonzie, so. Fozzie. Fozzie. <laughs> Fonzie the Fon- bear. Fonzie bear. Fonzie now that's bear. Now that's a cool that's, bear. That's probably something that's probably been done, right? That's, I'm sure that's if been not, done. If not, then I, if we can't find a Fonzie bear on Google, then I will draw one and we can put it on our Insta- yeah. Instagram. Um, uh, okay. You should do that anyway. Maybe. Okay. What do we think about Yogi Bear? Not very good, right? I don't really like hey, Yogi boo-boo. Bear. Let's get uh, some picnic baskets. Is he worse? He's not worse. He's not worse than Golden Crisp. No. He could be a two. I would put Boo Boo above Yogi even. Yeah, but do we want? <laughs> Probably I mean, we don't want. Do we both. want them both on the list. So maybe maybe it's Yogi and Boo Boo, and that justifies being a Yogi's, two or whatever. Yogi and Boo Boo. Okay. Maybe fa- oh, Yeah, I don't know. What about um, what's like a really good bear? Yeah, I was trying. Paddington. To he's a bear, oh, right? Oh, Paddington. Winnie the Pooh is pretty good. Oh, I mean sometimes. Oh, what's better, Winnie the Pooh or Paddington? Probably Paddington. I mean, Winnie the Pooh, I, I quite like Winnie the Pooh in a number of situations, but there, I feel like there's also plenty, like, Winnie the Pooh's been I like Winnie abused the Pooh's- by the culture in a lot of ways where he's just lame, right? But the original, like, not even the original, but the Winnie the Pooh in the Disney cartoons is pretty good most of the time. I like Winnie the Pooh's a four and Paddington's a five. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Uh, I do guess. You, do you agree with that? I was I was imagining that we would be watching movies about real bears or more re- more realistic bears. Well, we don't have these. to that, but our scale doesn't have to be that. Yeah, I, I I'm just saying like the bear from uh, the Revenant that kicks the crap out of Leo DiCaprio is that, that never, a Fozzie bear? Is I've that never a, seen the Revenant. Yeah, I've I've I watched would we it count that, that as a bear movie? I don't know. I watched that movie up till that point, and then I was like, I feel like I've seen what I need to see, and didn't watch the rest of the movie because it was a pretty boring movie, actually. At yeah. least up to that point, I felt like it was. And it, uh, anyway, point is like, I, I'm just saying like, how if we watched that movie, how do we rate that bear on a scale of Golden Crisp to Paddington? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, I don't know what that would mean. So I don't know. We may have to deviate from the scale, but we'll okay. we, the scale could work for now. Well, I guess. well yeah. <laughs> is Cocaine Bear, you know, a Winnie the Pooh? Well, or, we don't know yet. Uh, I'm just saying, like, oh. is, is is it any of them? It's probably not. Is it a Boo Boo? I don't know. Probably not, right? But I mean, so are we thinking like? Well, I mean, I've just figured our scale was just kind of placeholders for the numbers, right. but we could also be like, would Paddington like this movie? <laughs> <laughs> Would pa- Paddington recommend this movie? Yeah. Does Paddington I, feel okay with this depiction of bears? Right, but I feel like by by swapping you know numbers, which are inherently an abstract thing, out for actual characters, now I'm more confused <laughs> than to just say, oh, it's a five out of five bear or I, whatever. You're, it's okay. a Paddington out of Paddingtons or whatever. How many Paddingtons? <laughs> yeah. Right. Would we watch movies like we would probably watch Winnie the Pooh and Paddington and stuff as part of our bear stuff, right? I mean, I will always watch Paddington. How about Baloo from the Jungle Book? Could he be I on the really list? I really like Baloo. Okay, how about Baloo from Tailspin? You ever watch that cartoon? Yeah, I don't remember if Baloo was different in that. Well, I mean, he was he was just like the main pilot character. Oh, he, oh yeah, no, didn't like him. Him and Kick Cloud Kicker, yeah, and Don Carnage, the weird fox that's like the pirate. Or whatever. That's a weird show. Like, you know what bear I really like? What? Is the bear the mom turns into in, in um oh, in, in Brave. In Brave. Yeah. That's true. We definitely would have to watch Brave. Yeah. Again. I, I mean, mean that's we, a we good watched one. it relatively recently, I think. But Hi, that that might be higher on the list. The brave brave bear? Yeah. The, what about the evil bear from Brave? That one's lower on the list. <laughs> Do we need Yogi and Boo Boo on here? Do we need Golden Crisp on here? I don't know. We were just trying to think of lame bears, right? We need lame bears. Yeah. So I don't know if we need. I mean, yeah. What's? We could also try to do a scale. A bear from scale like, might need to be bigger. 
You think there's more nuance in raiding bears than raiding sharks? <laughs> there's just a lot more bears. Yeah, but that's not how ratings necessarily work. <laughs> it's not like you rate from <laughs> one to ten because you really like how many numbers there are from <laughs> one to ten, right? <laughs> We can't it's leave It's our podcast. We, we can do leave, whatever we want. We can't leave seven out. Come on. It's a great <laughs> number. Guys, it's going to eat nine. <laughs> um, we, could, we could also make a bear scale that's like from like polar bears are the biggest bear, I think, down to brown, black bears might be the smallest bear. Or I don't know what the smallest bears no, are. No, that's boring. Or, or we could have opinions about like are sun bears better than brown bears? Our, uh, pa- do, where do panda bears go on the scale? Aww. Do koala bears get we to be on the scale? We can talk about panda bear sex. Actually, actually we, could talk, <laughs> we could have koala bears on the list as the number one because they're called bears, but they're not bears. Or they could be two because they're not bears, but they're kind of bears, right? Are, are they worse than Golden Crisp? Well, I'm just, say- I'm just saying like we could have a different scale where we rate real world bears by how much we like them. And so, like, maybe pandas are number one or, or number five or whatever. And, you know, polar bears are four and koalas are two and some other kind of... So, as part of our bear podcast, we rate the best bears. Yeah. I mean, well, we have opinions on, <laughs> we have opinions on which bears that really exist are I'm the best. I'm just hearing Dwight from The Office say, what kind of bear is best? I don't know that reference because well, I didn't watch The Office. That's what you're doing right now. Okay. What kind of bear is I'm best? I'm being Dwight, I guess. <laughs> I mean, that's what we've been doing for the last like 10 minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. But we still need a three. I don't. Okay, uh, this might be controversial, but I'm gonna gonna bump Winnie the Pooh down to three. Okay. And I'm putting... The mom from Brave? What yeah. about the, the little kids from Brave? They're great, too. So just Brave, maybe. Brave Bears. Brave Bears. That movie was like more bear focused than I thought it was going to be <laughs> when I first watched it. Yeah. It was like pretty, they went pretty heavy on bears. Yeah. They went all in on they bears. They went all in on the bears. It's yeah. good though. It's a good movie. Yeah. It's a very good movie. Yeah. Bears and Are there a lot of bears in Scotland? I don't believe there are bears in Scotland. There aren't, right? I think they're extinct at this point. Because so they killed them all? <laughs> yeah. No, I think the movie takes place in a time when there might have still been bears in Scotland, I think. But there aren't bears in Scotland now. I'm barely sure like there aren't wolves in the uk anymore either so if you don't want to get eaten by a bear scotland is a good i mean they have zoos so you could still get eaten by a bear if you really wanted to this is telling me yeah this is telling me yeah you can find bears in scotland it says from statues to bears in captivity right yeah. like bear statues don't count if you're looking for bears in scotland i don't think statues count yeah a uh. statue of a bear could be low on the list of like it's called a bear but it's not really a bear or whatever as far as the rating goes i don't know um hmm. also if you've ever watched a movie a beat like a bbc movie I, maybe this is too specific but i've seen some bbc produced like cheap movies that they've made of stuff where like wolves are in the movie and it's very clearly they're just kind of big dogs yeah because they don't have wolves in the uk anymore and i guess they don't At have all, easy huh? access well they're extinct there yeah they could probably probably not impossible to Transport a wolf to the UK, I guess. So you won't get eaten by wolves or bears in the UK. Right. But you also won't get good ones in your movies. <laughs> Unless they're cartoons, I guess. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So we have some preliminary scales for bears and sharks. Okay. What else are we... Um, because I, I feel like one of the things we're going to want to talk about is like, how satisfying is this for me as a bear enthusiast or a shark enthusiast like is this a good shark movie or is it just a movie that is shark adjacent yeah or whatever? i mean we'd have it like it's also going to depend on like what you're looking for in your shark movie right right but it's going to be what we're looking for in a yeah. shark movie right and i'm looking for as bad as possible right as ridiculous fun, fun to watch right? as ridiculous as possible i think there probably are movies out there that are called like the shark and it's actually just about like a mean lawyer or something right oh i just yeah. made that up but I, I'm, something like that probably exists so i imagine we'll run into a movie where like well we got to watch it for a shark podcast yeah there's one called swimming with sharks okay that i actually really enjoyed but it does unfortunately have kevin spacey in it oh uh, that's a bummer but is it about sharks no at all? right no but, it's about so, businessmen right so we would watch that movie and be like well movie's all right but it's not very high on the shark scale yeah it's fact it's zero on the shark scale yeah we wouldn't watch shark tank no fuck that we're not watching shark tank okay 
we're not watching TV shows in general. I would, no. I would think. Unless there's you no know, a real good one. Like, I mean, we could watch something from Shark Week or something, I guess, yeah. or whatever. But anyway, okay. It seems like we're actually out of time to talk about the band name thing. So maybe maybe we do that in the future. Yeah. Okay. Because I think that could be pretty fun. I so think maybe that we should come back too. to that. We should put a pin in it. Yeah. Um. There was a lot more shark and bear content than. Yeah, we argued about what you, are good bears and good sharks. You are wearing your shark shirt right oh, now yeah, too. Oh yeah, wearing a shirt, a shirt that has a shark spitting swords out of its mouth and hatchets and other sharp things, knives yeah. and cleavers and stuff. Uh. All right. Well, we are at about time, so I think we probably should we talk about our social medias. Do that real quick, yeah. So you can find all the links to our social media on our website at coolpodcast.website. We are on Twitter, Threads, and Instagram at What Should Pod, and you can find our Facebook page if you really want to. Just look for What Should Our Podcast Be About. Um, and please, 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 please email us your ideas. We really want to talk about them. You can email us at what at coolpodcast.website or message us through any of the platforms. Um, and then please, please, please also subscribe and rate our podcast so that we can have more listeners and more ideas to talk about. That will make this a lot more fun for us. We're also on Spotify. If you listen on there, you can answer our silly questions that I post every week. Sometimes a poll, sometimes just a stupid question. If you do that, we'll probably read what you said on the podcast. So you'll be famous. Sort of. As famous as um, as you make us. We will give you your five minutes. You're only as famous as you feel. <laughs> <laughs> Should we talk about our outro? Welcome to What Should This Outro Be About? The outro where we try to figure out what this outro that you're listening to right now should be about. I'm still here. And I'm also still here. I don't got much right now as far as uh, outro ideas. Uh, Do you got anything? I am unprepared as usual. Yeah. How about I just tell you about Street Sharks and like what what that was a what that whole thing was okay yeah will you recap the plot of street shark yep okay i'm just gonna read from the wikipedia page of street sharks all right street sharks is an american superhero animated series about the adventures of crime fighting half man half shark (laughs) it was produced by who cares okay plot a university professor named dr robert bolton and his partner dr luther paradigm spelled like paradigm Create okay. a machine known as the Gene Slammer, <laughs> <laughs> which is capable of changing aquatic animals into anthropomorphic hybrids by combining their DNA. Only aquatic animals, I guess. Oh my gosh. In his attempt to prevent Paradigm from using this machine for personal power, <laughs> which would be <laughs> so so tempting, Yeah. Uh, Bolton is transformed into an unseen monstrosity, but escapes. Later, Paradigm gives Bolton's four sons, John, Bobby, Coop, and Clint, the likeness of four different sharks. When Dr. Paradigm captures... Yeah, those sons must have been pissed. Uh, did they consent? It's not clear. But yeah, I mean, like... When Dr. Paradigm captures their friend Benz, B-E-N-D-S, Benz, the resulting street sharks rescue him, and the resulting battle causes Paradigm to be combined with piranha DNA, for which he is often nicknamed Dr. Piranoid by the other characters. While the street sharks are known to enjoy eating hot dogs, hamburgers, and shakes, they have shown a disdain for pizza when they shoot down that suggestion to Ben's and Lena Mack. I haven't mentioned Lena Mack before. I don't know who she is. <laughs> so they don't like pizza. They don't like pizza. Because they're not the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's that's probably why, right? But they are the Ninja Turtles. Well, they're, they're great value Ninja Turtles. Right. In subsequent episodes, Dr. Paradigm creates a variety of mutant animals to destroy the street sharks, while attempting to persuade the inhabitants of their native metropolis of Fission City to imprison them. Of these mutant animals, a few sided with the sharks themselves, namely Rox, Moby Lick, Manta Man, and El Sordo. <laughs> this sounds awful. The final few episodes introduced the Dino Vengers, a group of extraterrestrial dinosaurs allied with the street sharks against their own rivals in the raptor gang. When Dr. Paradigm wanted to get a sample of the raptor's DNA to improve himself, they trick him by giving him iguana DNA, which transforms him into Dr. Iguanazoid, leading to him working with the raptors, where they will reward him by correcting the DNA mistake they gave him. In the end, Paradigm is captured and imprisoned while the raptor gang leaves Earth. The Dino Avengers later had their own series called Extreme Dinosaurs, where they and the Raptors had different backgrounds. All right, so 
That uh, you're is, welcome. Now you don't have to watch. That sure. is, uh, I could tell you more about the characters and stuff, but I'll let you uh, look it up on Wikipedia yourself <laughs> or watch it. I guess it's probably available somewhere. Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll watch it. Maybe actually. We did say we don't need to watch TV shows, but, but maybe we need to watch that one. we might need one. to make an exception. I don't know. It might, maybe one episode. I bet they have like a Street Sharks Go or something. So maybe yeah. I'll put that whatever their catch, catchphrase the is here. But maybe not. <laughs> Who knows? It's a mystery. <laughs> you got to keep listening. You got to keep listening You're gonna for the f- next few seconds. Yeah, to you'll find, find out. out in a few seconds. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. What was that podcast about? I'm trying to figure it out. Didn't catch what that was about.